Bond is now increased to $2 million for the man accused of killing his girlfriend's 16 year old daughter Friday. Van Brisbane is charged in the death of Nimitz High School sophomore Lauren Juma. And tonight we're learning more disturbing details about the crime following Brisbane's court appearance today. Anieli Ruiz is here to walk us through what happened. Anieli, we understand there could even be some changes to his charges. That's right. It all depends on the evidence that investigates investigators gather. But we do know that so far as of today, his bond was increased from one million to two million dollars. It was an emotional hearing for family members of 16 year old Lauren Juma and also for family members of her alleged killer. Monday morning was 60 year old Van Brisbane's first court appearance after he was charged with murdering Lauren. I love my uncle to death. I swear I do, but I will never be able to understand how he did something like this to Lauren. That was Brisbane's niece. She was wailing inside the courtroom during his hearing and a bailiff had to ask her to step outside. But the details of this case were very graphic to hear. Prosecutors said on Friday Juma was found dead with her clothes in disarray. They go on to say that Brisbane was seen pulling up and adjusting his pants while coming out of their home after two shots were heard. Investigators say Lauren was on the phone with her mom and her sister prior to her death and said she woke up to Brisbane standing in the dark room acting weird. Prosecutors asking for a higher bond amount. Asked for $2 million. And judge granted, judge granted it. One thing his family made very clear, even though they're his blood relatives, they're supporting Lauren and her family. People have to be accountable for their actions. If we don't hold people accountable for the things that they do wrong, then people will continue to do wrong. His niece had this shirt made that says, here for Lauren, and she doesn't know how this could have happened. How he could take her life from her, I can never understand it. Just a very emotional hearing, as you can imagine. Now, the judge did ask prosecutors to rush the forensic evidence to see if Lauren was sexually assaulted. And if she was, there could be potentially some changes in the charges and he could be charged with capital murder. But again, this will all be up to the Harris County District Attorney's Office to see if they can even prove this. Now, by the way, we did contact the Harris County Sheriff's Office and they told me that when he was arrested on Friday, he did show signs of intoxication, reporting in the Harris County Courthouse. Anaeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.